A special analysis of national security reports by Global News suggests that Canada is a permissive target for China's broad interference campaigns. Global News reporter Sam Cooper dug into these reports and expert assessments. He joins us now live from Ottawa with more. Good morning, Sam. Let's start out with what did your investigation find here? Yes, what we found is that uh, China has been very successful undermining Canada using something that they called the United Front. This is an influence and espionage network. How it works is they target uh, elite Canadian leaders, institutions. They offer sweet business deals. And really, they end up using trade with China as a weapon. Experts say the effect is some Canadian leaders, uh, influential groups, end up advocating for China's policy. For example, uh, the, the court case of Huawei executive Man Wanzhou, or they fail to criticize China's human rights abuses. And in this way, Canada's democratic values are being undermined. So your report says that Canada's Intelligence Committee report points to Australia as a model of fighting interference. So what is it that they do? What Australia has done uh, is after investigative reporters exposed a number of cases with uh, China's corruption and interference, Australia in 2018 uh, laid out a number of national security laws. Essentially, uh, if Australian citizens are receiving benefits from China or involved in uh, business dealings, they have to register. That way there's transparency and if people are found to be acting for China's interests, undermining Australia, they can face prison terms of 10 to 20 years. So there's some very serious consequences and laws that really experts are saying Canada needs to follow up in that area. So what was it that caused Australia to act that way and can you give us more examples of, of what's happening here in Canada? I know Huawei being one of them. Well, in Australia, the, the experts tell us really there was a very uh, a spectacular case involving an Australian senator and a United Front leader, a billionaire uh, involved potentially in corruption, a casino high roller, became a huge political donor in Australia's system. Uh, the, uh, the Australian senator ended up advocating China's military policy when this United Front leader threatened to pull a $400,000 donation. That resulted uh, in a lot of exposure, public debate, and these uh, criminal code changes. Experts in Canada say this type of corruption has to be happening with regards to China's interference. Really, it's just a question of the scale and whether Canada has the legal tools to, to expose and prosecute these cases. And in your research, I mean, is the federal government doing anything? Are any steps being taken to address this? What our investigation showed is that, for example, Canada's uh, intelligence agency, CSIS, has been investigating, warning for years. Other agencies have been warning the government, but Canada, for some reason, hasn't been uh, acting as other allies, such as Australia and the United States have, with regards to these serious threats. So at this point, uh, we have strong recommendations in front of uh, Premier, uh, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's government, and experts say that uh, it remains to be seen whether Ottawa will act on these uh, uh, recommended measures. Wow. Okay. That is quite the investigation. Mm -hmm. Thank Thanks you so much so for much. joining us.